Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today we are here with my, I think, 14-ton ocean cruiser boat on, you know, just a few tires. If you do want to freeze frame and count, you can, but that's just a heck of a lot of tires right there. And today I've got it on all these tires because we've, you know, just slapped it on a trailer. Now I want to go out with my pink-up truck, I believe, and launch it into the water. And I'm doing this today just as a reference to my next launching kind of idea theory. And what I want to do with that idea is kind of, you know, supersize it in the future. Probably get a couple friends on Stormworks and see how big of a boat launch I can get. But, like I said just a couple seconds ago, we're going to be launching it, you know, the generic way here real quick, as a little frame of reference. You know, anyone who hasn't seen just a boat launch in Stormworks in general, and if you're wondering why my little truck here is kind of struggling to get moving here, it's because the trailer and boat behind me weigh 14 and a half tons, and the truck is 2 tons. So there's a little bit of a weight difference. It's not able to get much of any of its power down to the road. So we're having that problem. Although we are going five miles an hour. But this does have my old style gearbox. Well, it's got my old off-road style gearbox, which isn't looking at wheel speed or axle speed or anything. So it's kind of just flailing all around like a small child that wants something. So, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get down to the water. But in the meantime, we do have a little bit of time to just admire what I've got right here. This does just barely fit within the workshop. So if I do want to do a larger boat launch, I'm definitely going to have to learn the 1.0 system for spawning in submissions here. So that'll be some pain for the future. But... I did want to do that anyway, so I guess it's high time I actually do that. Alright, we are nearing the edge of this little cliff here, and I don't want to get too far and get hung up on that edge there, but this is definitely going to be a problem. One of the biggest problems is I've got this now moving at, what, 5-6 miles an hour? But it's a combined 16 tons, and I only have brakes on the front truck here. So I'm going to first try and just drift it into the ocean here. Um, trailer, please stop! No, no, um, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh, can I do anything from here? <gasps> okay, I didn't flip it. This is alright. I should have, uh, put brakes on the trailer. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. Okay, I I've, like, stopped it somehow here. I know I'm, like, stuttering half to death here. But hey, look, a fish. Alright. We got the double fish over there with the water reflection. Alright, we've nearly got it where we want it now. And I'm very lucky it didn't just, you know, immediately wipe me off the face of the earth by pulling me into the water there. I think that's a good enough angle of attack there. Let's put the brakes on for a second. And we have ye old park reverse drive here for this truck. Which, I mean, it works, but, you know, I have to go back inside... Uh... I did not realize how big of an angle that is. I love watching those wheels go across an angle. <laughs> I think we've uh, maxed out that suspension. No, 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 don't get pulled into the water. Uh, drive, drive. Give me a little bit of drive. I just want, I just gotta keep that snorkel above the water line and it'll be perfectly fine. Alright, let's turn that off for a second, get out, and we can pull the boat off of the trailer I'm hoping now. We've at least got the propellers, you know, well in the water now. Can I swim up, please? I don't want to drown. There we go. For some reason, Stormworks has that bobbing feature now, which is problem. It is a big problem, so. All right, we've got both the engines on. Just hold down S for reverse. Once they're fine. I think I just pulled my truck into the water. What got stuck? Okay, gently, very gently. What? What's stuck on the tr Oh, the scoop is still above the water line, so I might be able to get it out here. We just leave that running, it'll keep the batteries alive. This bobbing thing up and down. I'm even holding space, but it makes you like jump around like a dolphin now. Add in dolphin noises here. <laughs> anyway, enough of me making silly jokes. Uh, I gotta get the engine running if I wanna save this. 
Oh, that's perfectly fine. I made that scoop pretty tall just in case anything happened. Because this is an off-roading truck, per se. Although it is very uh, prone to damage. It's one of the big problems with this vehicle, as I found out. In a previous challenge I tried to do for a video, which failed pretty badly. Because the car kept exploding in the woods. Anyways, enough of that. We see, you know, our ye olde method of getting the boat into the water. You know, a regular to large size boat works. But what if we want to do it another way? Or how very large boats work? Let's go and get that guy out of our workshop. And here we are with the same boat in question, but, you know, just a different colored truck. And we have another method to launch the boat. As you can tell, I did, you know, cut down the amount of wheels on the trailer by a little bit just because I thought it didn't need like 30 wheels some um, yeah but nobody told the rear suspension of my truck that it'd be hauling you know 14 tons today so it's a little bit you know pushed down but let's get this guy over to the water and launch it sideways and if you guys don't know what I mean launch it sideways I'm going to be trying to recreate my launch method just like larger ships in real life, as you can kind of tell now with all those linear slides on the side. What I'm going to be trying to do is launch it from the side of this trailer. So I can do this for a small to medium sized boat, kind of like my ocean cruiser here. Just because I can get it on a car and I didn't need to spawn a mission in because quite frankly I was a little bit lazy today and didn't want to figure out all of the Stormworks mission stuff and Lua for 1.0. I do need to start hitting the brakes because it again I am a bit lazy and I didn't put any brakes on this trailer either and it weighs 15 tons instead of 14 and a half. Okay, just drift it in but I don't have to take it all the way down to the sand over there. What I'm going to be doing is pulling it up right here kind of parallel parking with it if you will and seeing if I can get it into the water. I do really want to watch the physics of that situation as well. So I'm going to probably try and jump into third person here once I click that launch button there. Alright, I've got it decently perpendicular with the water here. Let me throw it into reverse real quick. Just need a negative number. I have to be very careful with not getting it in the water here. That's one of my biggest fears. Because if either the trailer or the truck go in, well, of course, if the truck goes into the water, then we're kind of done for. But I sincerely doubt that if I, you know, have the trailer go in, that the truck itself could pull it back out. So we probably have a big old dud on that one and have to retry it there. All right, that looks pretty good. Those rear wheels are pretty close to the edge there. Well, very close to the edge. Let me see if I can give it a... Oh, our mission has ended. Alright. I guess we lost that mission then. Not like I was doing any. I totally forgot to turn those off. It's been a little while. Alright, let's turn that off. I hope we're not in any danger of falling off here. That does look pretty good. Alright, and one of the other features I had to add... You see there's a rail on this side of the trailer. If I come around... That rail is kind of holding it on pretty securely, but on the other side, I couldn't do that rail because we need to be able to put those sides down. And now it's got just about a free ramp to get out into the water. So let's try this. Jumping immediately into our camera mode. I haven't watched this in third person. To be fully honest with you guys, I did try it once as a proof of concept. But let's see what it looks like in our third person here. And immediately, it's off. It's in. It's almost in the water. Okay, that's a deep angle, but it made it. I'm surprised. It'd be really cool if Stormworks had that sort of huge wave physics to it. But sadly, we only get the water splashing around left and right to it. We don't get any massive waves going out into the ocean here. But... As you can tell, we have our boat now firmly launched into the water. And it doesn't seem like... I... Ooh. I was gonna say it doesn't seem like there's any damage to the boat, but... I turned off vehicle damage earlier. I totally forgot about that, so... 
I do want to retry it with vehicle damage on and see how bad it could possibly get. <laughs> so I'm going to get the boat kind of exactly where I've got it parked right now and try that again just with vehicle damage on and see how truly bad this launch style could go here. Alright, so we should be able to launch it yet again and click that button there and let me quickly forward and go into our camera menu. There we are. Let's give it a shallower angle to see kind of what happens to the bottom as well here. <laughs> there we go. It slides right over the- ooh, it dipped in the front end yet again. I don't think- I didn't see any damage really to it. So, our only way to really tell is to give us a small swim underneath it. Because what I was concerned about was it kind of scraping there. I've turned into a one-armed man. Do you guys see this? Okay, now it's just- Maybe I should swim forward and say I only have one arm. I was turning to the left, that's why I only had one arm. So player damage is off, so I should be able to stay down here as long as I want. Doesn't look like there's any damage to it. There's one way to tell though, take it out on the ocean and see. Come on, up. There we go, I should have just used my swim platform. All the alarms are going off. I think I turned that off in here though. Where's my lights? Alright, let's take it out in the ocean. Do I have enough room to turn right before hitting the sand? Yes, perfectly. There we go. There's another fish to my right. When are we gonna get fishing? Although this isn't much of a fishing vessel though. It seems to be working perfectly fine in third person driving mode. I don't see any damage to the boat. We have another successful launcher, even with the damage on the vehicle. Let's turn it back around and call it a day here. So, like I was talking about earlier, I do want to do this probably with a few more people and with a larger boat or two. I don't know what size boat I could actually launch in Stormworks before it will kind of crash the game, but, you know, that's what I want to find out. Have some sort of huge cruise ship on tires or something, use a really big arm or even a vehicle or two to push it off. We'll see in the future. But that is where I will be ending this episode, so of course if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stoneworks and more of my content, but I've been great goodbyes, so people need me, and I need to go.